Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Sunday, December 30th, 2018. I am the Drunk Poker and it's beer time. How you doing? Sunday. Two days left in the year. I'm off tomorrow, but i got to work New Year's Day at 6 a.m., so it is what it is. So we're going to celebrate a bit tonight. Right now, writing about my favorite IPAs of the year. It's going to take a while to finish this post, so maybe by the time this video is done, no. But later today... Look for it on the blog. Uh, I'll leave you a link down below to the blog. You can find it when it comes out. Celebrate that. We're going to drink a new IPA. Bandwagon American IPA, 6.5% from our friends at Rhythm and Brews. While I do have a Rhythm and Brews branded glass, I did get IPA glasses for Christmas, and I'll be damned if I'm not going to use them. The Ever Fragile, the beautiful Spigaloo. Spigaloo! Spigaloo! <sighs> Got a new beer opener, too. Sweet. So... Maybe if I use the right side. Shut up, folks. Hey, it's been a long day. I got up for work at 4.30 in the morning. That was a New Year's Day. I'm going to wake up at 4.30 in the morning. Um, I like Rhythm and Brewers. They make pretty good beer. I had a Trapal by them last night. It was quite nice. I uh, had a Pale Ale the other week. Beautiful space. If you love music, if you love beer, it's a nice place to go. Do you have your New Year's beers lined up? I do. Are they going to be hoppy? Probably. Maybe with Hoppy with a side of roasty bourbon. As it is. But, for now, we think of all things hoppy. Picking my favorite IPA is one of the most difficult decisions I make every year. It honestly, honestly is. It is so hard to pick a favorite uh, Pale Ale Session IPA, IPA, Imperial IPA, Black IPA, NIPA, and, of course, Brute IPA. But for now, straight up American IPA. Cheers. Happy almost New Year's Eve. Probably should smell it first. I'm telling you, I'm lost. I'm so lost. Oh, grapefruit, orange. I'm like it. You know me and my citrus. I love my citrus. I love it. I love it. Cheers. Okay. Definitely leaning non IPA. Let's say that. It's definitely a little more maltier. Not a huge malt bomb. Please don't get me wrong. But it's definitely leaning on that side. Um, pithy grapefruit, orange, bitter pine. Um, not resinous. More bitter. See, for me, I like this style of IPA, too, while enjoying the Nipas of the world, the milkshake IPAs of the world. I do enjoy sort of more, a more straight up. It is a little bit juicy, I'm getting some orange now, but definitely it's that pithy grapefruit, the bitterness in the back end. Very nice, very nice, very, and for 6.5, 6.5, it's very nice. Okay, I have to go right, because, you know, it's what I'm doing this time of year. Every year I say I'm going to start earlier, and every year I literally... Oh, I gotta write that today. Here's two thousand words. Just, but I have beer to help me out. So, enjoy your day. Look for that later. Check out the link down below. I'll leave that for you. Um, otherwise, have a great day. A few beers. Enjoy it. Twenty eighteen was a wonderful year in beer for sure. Cheers. I've had these glasses for four days. I haven't broken one yet. Whoop. Ah uh, ah. Uh. 